Hello friends, this is Jagannath. Welcome back to our YouTube channel CNC Guru Tax Center. Today we are learning about how to create profile turning operation in shop turn programming method. As we everybody knows that shop turn is a such a type of advanced programming method in Siemens 828 and 840DSL there we no need to give any any type of G code or M code input for creating the program. So yeah, there is a beauty. This type of profile we can create without using G code and M code. That is only the shop turn programming. If you are using turning machine, that is a shop turn. If you are using milling machine, that is a shop mill. So few many students are asking me, sir, how to create profile turning? In previous lecture, we seen that how to create step turning, how to create uh, grooving. These operations we seen. But in this series, we will see how to create profile. Yeah. Again, just take a screenshot of this diagram so you can uh, use this diagram for reference purpose at the time of creating program because of I am zooming out this diagram right now. Yeah. Again, before going to topic, I wanted to request you that if you are new on my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and if you subscribe to my channel, I will get, uh, no, I will get not, uh, uh, motivation from your side and on the basis of that mo motivation, I will definitely try to give you more solutions. So let's move to the topic that is shop turn profile turning operation so first of all press the program manager option this is the siemens f280 uh, controller in this we need to give program manager in this program manager you just press new option if you will press new option multiple or two options will be there in this two option second option program guide g code will be open by default in front of you because of this is the common methodology to create the program. But we are going for advanced methodology that is shop turn. So we need to press the shop turn option. Just upper side of the program guide G code. Once you will press the shop turn option, then you will get this type of window in front of you. And you need to give some name to this window, name to this program that is the profile F I L E T U R N. Profile the program name is already present, so I will give something one and I will say accept. In this way, this type of window will appear in front of me. In this window, I need to give some inputs. This is the header of my program. This is the header of my program. In this header, we just need to give the answer of the question which will ask by the every tab. In this input, first is a work offset. We are you taking we are using G54 work offset that said describe is a no, no describe. You always use this no blank is cylindrical blank because we are working on cylindrical work piece. This, that's why this is a cylindrical blank. XA is a diameter of my work piece, raw material diameter. So as per diagram, this is 53.6. I am just giving here 54 4.0. That may be my work piece diameter. ZA, ZA is a face allowance. If there are any face allowance available, you just give the inform, uh, input to that face allowance. Otherwise, give zero. Okay. Usually, we are using the material which already done the facing operation. ZI, ZI is a total length of my workpiece with the chuck length. Means I am clamping my workpiece in the chuck. So, total length of my workpiece will be according to design, according to drawing. I will take this. That's a minus 50 mm or minus 60 mm is also great option zb is a working length of my workpiece that is that should be 34 i am giving 40 mm you can give any minus 40 mm always give this absolute option always give this absolute option if you wanted to give this incrementally you can give this incrementally just press the select button incrementally option will come but my recommendation is that use absolute Retract should be simple. There are multiple type of retraction options are available in front of you. Simple, extended and all. So, first of all, we will take this simple uh, simple retraction method that is a normal and that is very common. XRA is a retraction. After completion of my this program, after completion of not operation, after completion of the program, my tool should be retract up to 2 mm in x direction incrementally and 2 mm in z direction incrementally. This is after completion of the program, not after completing the operation. For completion after completing the operation, the tool will be jumped to another operation. That time it will take 2 2 mm incrementally retraction. 
great that is really great then tool change point i already discussed about this all information in my previous lecture you just go to the description box there will be the link you just go through that link you will get more information about this so i don't want to waste time here to giving one information again and again repeatedly yes yes one is rpm i am giving 1000 rpm yes c is the safety clearance i am giving 0.5 safety clearance that's it this is the my header of program in this way we created the header now we need to create the profile for creating profile we need to press fourth number of horizontal soft key that is a control once i will press this control tab option the ver in vertical soft key multiple options will be get open in this multiple options we need to press first option that is a new control once i will press this new control option this type of window will open in front of me i need to give the input to this window and what is the input this icon this window is asking i need to give some name that is a profile name p r o f i l e i will just give it profile and i'm just saying accept once you will set accept this type of window will appear in front of you in this window you need to create this same diagram exactly same diagram we need to create hope so you taken the screenshot of this diagram because of this is like very zoom out diagram we are just showing this diagram for reference purpose so x x is the starting point of the my profile so i am giving starting point of my profile is 0 mm and z is 0 mm you can give any and we as you are in learning mode so give it 0 0 in advanced mode i will give you the shortcut how to use that shortcut in further lectures we will see that so first of all see the 0 0 is more sufficient for us and i will say accept this the 0 0 is my first point of my or starting point of my profile second number is vertical line i am just giving vertical line how much is vertical line 29.6 so i am giving 29.6 is my vertical line and i am just telling there is no chamfer in profile actually in this diagram there is no chamfer but in standard way we are giving some chamfer so i am just giving 1 mm or 2 mm chamfer at the end of this profile i am just giving 2 mm in chamfer chm is chamfer and i am just saying accept once i will say accept this type of line will be there in front of me but in this line there is no chamfer why there is no chamfer the reason is that this is the end chamfer of the profile line so i need to give another line that will be horizontal line and at the end of vertical line and at the start of horizontal line there will be the chamfer so see how it will look i am selecting second line as a horizontal line and z must be minus how much should be there minus 34 minus 34 is my z so i am giving how much is the z are now how we will disclose how, how we will uh, identify this 34 and 24 that that is a minus 10 mm is my z minus 10 mm is z i am just saying i said see this way my chamfer is get appeared in front of me this is a very simple methodology we no need to worried about this i am just giving you more information now that is the arc third option is arc i am just selecting fourth number of option that is arc arc should be clockwise arc because of in profile that showing arc clockwise arc r is what is the radius of arc r5 is radius of arc x is how much is x x is 39.6 i am giving 39.6 as my x and how much is z z is i am giving z is 34 minus 19 See 34 minus 19. This will be 15. So I am giving Z is minus 15. Minus 15. So I am saying input. So see if I am giving this input, two type of options will be available in front of you because of on the basis of this input, two possibilities of arc will be there. One is this arc and one another is this arc. Whichever arc we want, that arc should be in orange color. So for selecting that arc, we need to just say dialog select. If you will press dialog select, the small arc will become in the small arc will take orange color. If I will select this once again, dialog select the bigger arc will become orange. So which arc you want? I want the small arc. So I will just select small arc. Dialog select small arc will be appear in my program. I am just saying dialog accept, and in this way we just created the arc. Next is again. what is there again arc is there how much is arc again i am giving arc arc is fourth option and that is now clockwise arc that is now anti clockwise arc sorry anti clockwise arc 
How much is R? R is 5 mm. How much is X? X is 49.6. 49.6 is my X. How much is Z now? Z is 13 minus 14. 13 minus 34 minus 14. 34 minus 14 is my X. So this dimension is 20. So I am giving minus 20. Saying input C. There are again two arcs are there. I will say uh, automatically the first arc is selected. So I don't need to use this dialog select. I am just saying pressing dialog accept. And in this way I am just pressing accept. This second arc is again there in front of me. Now after this there is a angle or there is a diagonal line. The diagonal line is matching to my third line. Just pressing the third line. How much is x? x is, x is now 53.6. 53.6 is my x. How much is my z? Z is my 34 minus 12. 34 minus 12 is 22. So I am giving minus 22 as my z. And this I am saying except. See, this diagonal line is there in front of me. And after this diagonal line, I am just pressing this horizontal line. Horizontal line is taking minus 34 length. I am just pressing this x. I am just saying in this way again we need to just complete this profile so for completing this profile i need to press this second option i need to give x as a 55 mm as our workpiece size is 55 mm i am just just completing this profile up to 55 i am just saying accept in this way we created the profile this profile is matching to my diagram yeah i know this is a half side of profile once you will do simulation we can see full profile also I'm just saying except and now I need to give parameters in the parameter tab. So for that we need to select stock removal option. In counter turning only, don't press this turning, always press this counter turning. Second option is stock removal. In the stock removal, our first information is complete. Let it be complete like as it is. And after that, after that, you need to press this. T is a tool number. Which tool I am using? I am using right now roughing tool. I am just pressing this as a roughing tool operation. So I am just giving this X as a roughing. Okay. So this is the roughing tool. Before using any tool, always be careful that our tool should be like well offset. So take an offset of tool before using it. If you will take offset, then and then only that tool will be work accordingly. Otherwise that tool will do bigger mistake and that tool will go and dash to my Purpose. So, always take offset before using any tool. How to take offset that our video already created in my previous lecture. So, go through description box. There you will get that link and go through that link. You will get the information about how to take offset. I am just saying accept. Yeah. Roughing is my tool. Feed is 0.1. Okay. S is RPM. 2000 is RPM. Machining, I wanted to do roughing. If you want to do finishing, you can do finishing also. If you will do finishing, directly your machine will work according to G70 cycle. So always use roughing and finishing. If you wanted to do roughing and finishing, you can use roughing plus finishing operation. If you will press roughing and finishing operation, this type of option will get open in front of you. You need to give input to this operation that is finishing field. So 0.1 is my finishing field rate. That's it. Okay. Longitudinal, which type of toolpath you want? Longitudinal, face toolpath or you want contour toolpath. So if I will press this longitudinal toolpath, that time my tool will take tool path like g71 cycle if i will press this face tool path my tool path uh, my tool will take tool path like g72 so i am using this g71 tool path longitudinal tool path okay d is outside d is the depth of cut i wanted to do outside milling so i am just using outside if you wanted to do id milling so that id turning i will show you id turning operation also in next lecture so first of all we will see outside D is the depth of cut, UX is the finishing allowance in X direction, finishing allowance in Z direction. DI is the dwell time, if you wanted to give any dwell time, you just give, otherwise let it be zero. BL is a blank input, that is again, a cylinder is my blank. Yeah. XD and ZD, XD is my, means after every depth of cut, my tool should be get retract and tool should take another depth of cut. So that time, how much my tool will retract, that is the, this option that is XD and ZD. I am giving 1 1 mm incrementally. Relief cut. If this type of relief cuts are there, there is no relief cut in my current diagram. So I am not giving any relief cut option, but you can always keep this yes open. 
this type of relief cut option is there that time my tool will take another tool path in this relief operation so i'm just saying except in this way we created our profile turning operation if you wanted to see how it will look this is my profile turning operation see i wanted to just simulate it if you will do simulation you will just get more satisfaction how it will look see this is my workpiece this is my tool is coming and in this way my tool is doing turning operation and creating the profile turning operations see how it is working it is working in very simplest method you just need to learn how to create this now we will run this program how to run this program first of all field start spindle start then say execute if you will say execute your program will come in auto mode automatically this auto mode option will be blink and then say cycle start if you will say cycle start operation uh, alarm will come that is feed rate override so i will just increase the feed rate in this way the program is running so how my program is running if i will press this basic block option this type of cam output will uh, we can see means this pro cycle is giving exactly cam type of output this is the benefit for us just learn is how to create and all and just try to share with others so again i am the thankful to you you go you just giving me opportunity to give this information to you if you are new my on my channel kindly subscribe to my channel if you subscribe my channel i will get motivation from you and on the basis of my uh, that motivation i will definitely try to give you more solution for same okay so hope you like this channel if you have any doubt you can ask in comment box i will definitely try to give you the solution for the same and answer for the same thank you thanks sir